Hey folks, it's Teresa with Stringfield Ridge Farm. Um, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do to help stretch our animal feed bill. And we're gonna start with the dog food. Uh, we have just recently, um, just a realization with the prices going up, our animal feed, all of our animal feed, dog food, cat food, horse food, rabbit food, chicken food, <laughs> everything has gone up a couple of dollars a bag. I save scraps from, from our meals and uh, I might mix that in with some dog food, depending on what it is, or give it to the chickens. Our chickens also free range about 70% of the time so that helps also. But at the same time in realizing how much our feed bill had gone up just a couple of weeks ago, I was like, oh wow, this is getting bad. We have barn cats or feral cats that uh, stay out in the outbuildings and things and uh, they have kept, kept the mice away. So they're kind of important to us. Um, we, we, we rescued a dog that started running them off and ended up getting a mouse in the house. And I brought a cat in and was like, okay, this is not good. We're gonna get rid of the dog or do something because I, I'm not having this. And uh, actually Lee kept saying, wait, and the cats will start coming back. Well, he was right. The cats have started coming back little by little. They've realized, I guess, that he's not gonna hurt them. He does chase them, he jumps at them. Um, that he doesn't hurt them. So maybe they're realizing that and they're starting to come back a little bit. Don't feed them a whole lot because we want them to catch the mice. Um, so we, we, we're not just, we do feed our animals well, but at the same time, it wasn't just, I mean, you know, it was within reason, but even still, the high prices are really starting to um, worry me. Uh, so I started trying to think of ways to supplement uh, or, uh, or or cut back on their food. One way we have done that is uh, the, the horse is spoiled and uh, he's old and almost blind and we have spoiled him to a scoop of sweet feed every morning and every afternoon. Well, at the same time, he has hay out there in the wintertime and he has grass out there in the summertime. So we don't really have to give him the sweet feed, but we've spoilt it to him and he expects it and he will get out there and act a dumb fool if you don't give it to him. <laughs> so we, we're still giving it to him, but we're cutting back a little on it and not giving him as much. And Lee said, uh, Lee had a point, he said, Give him just enough so he knows he's got a bite or two, and that's all. So that satisfies that spoiled uh, routine of his, but we're not giving him as much of it, and that way saving on that. We're giving him about half of what he was getting. One of our biggest things is dog food. Our dogs do not like, we have one inside dog, Fancy, She's over there in the window wanting back in right now at the door. So I'm gonna have to go let her in and come back to this, y'all. Okay, Fancy is back in the house. Um, so <clears throat> we have the inside dog, Fancy, and we have an outside dog, Sky, that is a uh, part pit. Um, she eats a lot. And now we have the new dog, Blue, that is a uh, part, um, uh, blue healer. He was a rescue. So we don't know for sure what he is, but he's definitely got some blue healer. His name is Blue. Anyway, um, they don't like cheap, dry dog food. None of them will eat cheap, dry dog food. So I usually take and add in a little bit of our food scraps from, from meals. I don't always have anything. So um, I was getting them not an expensive dog food, but not a cheap dog food either. A kind of middle ground. 
and uh, it has gone up higher, uh, a couple dollars a bag higher. And I tried to go to a cheaper one, and they they don't like it. And uh, but they will eat it if I mix it a little with uh, scraps or something. Then they'll eat it. Uh, I have to mix it up good, put maybe a little water or a little uh, broth or something, and really mix it up good and get them to like it. But I went and got some rice, and what I have done, I'm gonna turn this camera down here so I can show you. After I show you my shirt, Wild Things Crew, Stringfield Ridge Farm, join us on Friday nights at 7 p.m. Central Time. And we do a live show, and our members are called the Wild Things Crew, and you can join us and have a good time. So here we go. Let's turn this So another thing we're going to accomplish with this video is trying out these new lids from uh, the Dollar Tree. It's a 10-pack for a dollar, and people were wondering if they were any good, and I went ahead and picked up a pack to use just for this purpose. Um, so, that's what they look like. They look fine. And yes, I do believe they're probably made in China. I can't read that. No, it says in USA. It says in USA, y'all. So, somebody said something about them being from China, but this says made in USA. These came from the Dollar Tree. And uh, someone had mentioned that they'd seen them there. So I went by specifically to check it out. All right. The seal looks good. It pops. All right. They look pretty good to me. We will find out. I'm going to try these out on, these, on this canned dog food. And uh, I will let you know if it cans. And I will let you know uh, later, maybe on a live show or in the comments below, I will let you know how they do a little later on. We'll first see today if they seal good, and then we'll check them in a few weeks and make sure they stayed sealed. First off, I took my rice, and I have been soaking my rice in... Um, a uh, bone broth. I had a bone broth that was several years old, and that's the same I do with any of this, is my older stuff that uh, uh, hadn't been used, and it's two or three years old. And so this is bone broth that I'm soaking my rice in to give it a flavor. And then I have green beans that are from 2017 that we won't eat anymore. We tried them and they are mushy and have not the greatest flavor in the world and they got kind of real soft. So I'm gonna use up some of those in this. Also, I got some pretty fatty meat that was in the um, sale bin. Uh, old, we use this a lot of times. We will use this kind of meat sometimes, but uh, but I'm gonna use this for dog food. I'm gonna cut it up in small chunks and brown it up a little bit and um, mix it with my rice and my green beans. And I will probably go back in the pantry and see if I've got anything else that I could mix in here for the dogs uh, that's old. So remember, this is going to be used as a, uh, just as a um, flavoring for that cheap dry dog food. So when I open a jar of this, I will just use two or three spoons of it and mix it in with that dry dog food just to give it a little flavor. And I won't use the whole can so I can put the can in the refrigerator and use it probably Three, I'm gonna do pints. I can probably do at least three meals out of it for them, maybe four, uh, if I just, uh, j just to give it flavor, just to flavor that oh, dry dog food and, and uh, that cheap dry dog food and get them to eat it and make it go further. Now, like I said, you could get something fattier and scrappier than this, but this was on sale in the bin. 
and I tell you, let me think of what I paid, about two bucks. I paid about two bucks for this pack. And I paid a dollar for the rice. And of course the green beans from my pantry are owed that we weren't gonna eat anyway anymore because of the last ones we used that were 2017 was not great. So I needed to use that up anyway in some productive way. <laughs> so I'm gonna get this cut up. I'm not gonna have you sit here and watch all this. I'm gonna get this cut up and get it cooking and uh, come back in a little bit. I'm not gonna do the whole canning process here um, with you. That's not what this video is about. This video is not about uh, canning or anything. <laughs> it's about making your animal feed go further and it's about these lids. So we're gonna see if these lids seal and then let you know later if they stayed sealed. Uh, mostly this is about canning dog food to make some cheap old dry dog food go further and more palatable for the dogs. So there you go. All kinds of different things that you could put in here. Uh, look that up. You know what your dog will eat and won't eat. I was surprised that someone said they love sweet potatoes. So uh, also I've seen somebody put uh, squash. I was surprised at that. So uh, think outside the box and uh, mix you up some whatever you've got. You know, you don't want to use, you don't want to spend a lot of money doing it. So that's the whole point. I got this cheap dog food for two bucks. The rice was a buck. And then our green beans, that's it. And then I'm gonna can it. And so for four bucks, I'm, pr I'm hoping to have I got out nine jars. I'm hoping to do nine jars of uh, canned dog food out of this. Okay, so I browned the uh, uh, pieces of pork and um, <clears throat> added the rice, the green beans, and I added a little of my bacon grease. I keep bacon grease in a jar on my stove. I added a little of that for extra flavor. I brought it to a boil and now I'm letting it come back down and that rice really soak things in. Uh, I added extra, uh, I added some water. It had the uh, bone broth in the rice. I added another about a half of a jar of water just to soak up that rice and still have uh, juicy, still make it juicy. Now, uh, one other thing, I'm getting my jars together. I did put the lids in a pan to heat that up. Uh, they say you don't have to do that with uh, good ball lids anymore. Uh, they make them to where you don't have to boil them. I'm gonna get these good and hot and I'm gonna hot can. I don't always hot can. A lot of times I like to raw pack, but I'm not doing that. I'm gonna heat this up and uh, Put it in hot and put the lids on hot so that I have a better chance of a seal with these uh, Dollar Tree lids. Okay, y'all, just pulled my canned dog food out of the canner. As for right now, they look good and fine and looks like they all uh, uh, sealed. So uh, I'll let these cool down for a little while and then I'll check back again. So here's the end result, y'all. And I'm just going to be honest. Um, they all sealed. They all sealed. They're still sealed. I'm going to be honest. This looks good enough to eat uh, for me, <laughs> for humans. Lee won't eat rice, but I'm telling you, I would eat this. Um, even though I made it for dog food, it is just uh, rice, green beans, uh, fatty pork with uh, bone broth and a little bacon grease and that's all that's in there and it looks pretty yummy I believe I would eat that myself watching. give us a thumbs up comment and subscribe let us know in the comments any ways that you use to make your feed go further